Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to kind of show how we did the board and batten wall in our entryway slash formal living room. So I'm gonna kind of put the clips in where we were building it and kind of talk about how we built it. It was actually so, so easy. So if you are interested to see how we did the board and batten wall in our front room, then keep on watching this video. Okay, so these are the supplies that we got. We got a little bit of sandpaper. Um, we got a paintbrush, a little paint bucket, a caulking gun. We got two things of the light like, caulk that we'll use and then two things of the paneling glue. And then this is the paint color that we selected. That's like a little sample of it. Um, it's called Solid Opal by Bear. So it's pretty much just like a satin finish. It's an ultra paint, so it's really durable. And I thought that would be perfect because on this wall, it's like a high traffic like area. And I just wanted something that is gonna hold up. Then we just got some paint sticks. I don't know to like stir it. Um, we got some paint uh, tape. And then we've got this, just a paint roller with two little rollers, Ivy. And then here's our spackling and some finishing nails. Now, as for the wood, we are doing seven of these and these are five feet tall. Um, so we're gonna start right here by the door and then go all the way down here. This is a 12 foot board that we got that's gonna be the top piece. And I, of course, will insert like our inspiration picture for what we want this wall to look like. Um, but if I stand back here in the corner, you kind of get like an overview of the entire wall. I just think it's gonna look so good. And then maybe we'll put like a little bench here and then we wanna put hooks on each one of the five foot boards just for hanging bags and that kind of thing. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. I don't really care about love. I don't really care about happy ever afters. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you. to just go ahead and buy a saw just go ahead and buy the saw because this is not luckily we didn't have to cut that much because we had this home depot trim all of these but for like the smaller pieces or if you're gonna add like the small pieces that go in this part you are definitely gonna want a saw like a hand saw because it's like very hard did i say hand saw that's not what i meant Okay, so an update just to follow our progress. Um, we're about to put the last uh, little trim bar on top on that side. That purple tape up there is from where we were like nailing it. Um, after we do that, we're gonna caulk it up. So we're gonna just start doing the caulking in like all of the regions. Um, that might have to be where we end for the night just because I'm going to have to read the instructions to see how long the caulking takes to dry because it has to be dry before you can paint. Um, but then after the caulking's dry, then we're just going to paint. Okay, guys, it is now <clears throat> a few days later. 
and we kind of had to wait a little bit of time to let the spackle dry because we put spackle over a lot of the common nails that we used because we didn't have the finishing nails that we needed. So we spackled all the holes and cracks and then we did caulking all on the insides and on the top. So now what we need to do is paint. So I already sanded everything. So I'm just gonna line the top of the wall with the painter's tape we have. I'm not gonna put it down here, I think. Actually, I am gonna put it at the baseboard and on the top, but I'm not going to put it on the sides because, let me see if I can kind of zoom in here. You can see like we got caulking all on the baseboard, on the walls. So I'm probably gonna have to like repaint that if, if I want it to look good. And same with over here, I don't really know. The caulking is kind of cracked, but I just feel like that's in a corner where no one's gonna see it. Okay guys, just doing another quick update. We did finish the first coat of paint on the wall. And after we did the first coat of white paint, I did go back in to all of these, the trim line. And I re all of that just because there were some breaks in the caulking. I also went all up underneath and added caulking there as well. I actually ended up using this type of caulking which is the brand DAP in white for trim and molding and it dries in 20 minutes so I'm gonna be able to paint as soon as it's dry and I did go back to Home Depot I had to get another quart size of the white paint that we used up on this wall and oh here it is excuse me Ivy this is the color paint that we ended up going with for the top part of the wall. And we're also going to do that wall as like an accent wall with the same color paint, which is right there. This paint color that we went with is by Bayer. I'm gonna show it to you. Ivy's really curious. Excuse me. <laughs> So this is the accent color we went with. It's called Midnight Blue by Bear. Thought this was like a really nice, like dark gray, navy kind of color. Thought that's gonna look really good. And then the white color I'm using is Solid Opal by Bear. So I'm just gonna let that caulking dry and then we'll get started on the rest of the paint. But I think it looks really good so far. Before the moment slowly slips away i 
so if you watched all the way to the end of the video, thank you. Please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I was gonna leave this video, um, I was just gonna hold on to the footage and do like a full room reveal, but I did decide to just go ahead and cut it here because I did have a lot of footage from us creating this wall. Um, so yeah, I hope it was helpful and I hope it gave you some inspiration. Shout out to all the people on my Instagram who gave me the inspiration to add this. I think it's such a nice addition to the house. It makes everything feel elegant. So yeah, we really love it and I will see you guys in the next video.